Hi everyone, David Jackson here, slingandstonemarketing.com, and in this video, I'm going to cover backlinking and link building. I'm going to go over what they are, how they're used, what pitfalls you should look out for, and some strategies for using these to build your business. So first, what is a backlink? Well, it's basically when a, another website links back to your website, and it can be for any reason. And link building is just the process of getting more backlinks to your website. So backlinks are primarily used as ranking signals to search engines when they are displaying their results. Generally, a website that has more backlinks pointing to it will have a higher chance of getting the top ranking on a particular search phrase. And this comes from Google's core algorithm theory where they looked at how reference citations are used in PhD dissertations and published works. When a reference is cited, it gives a bit of authority to the reference source. So the more citations a source has, the more authoritative. But it also depends on the authority of the person making the citation. So if Joe Nobody has no credibility or authority and cites a source, well, he has no authority to pass along. And it works the same with backlinks. Ideally, you want authority sites linking to your content and not these spammy, malicious ones. Also, the link cannot have rel equals nofollow placed on it in order for the authority to pass through. Because rel equals nofollow means that the website is saying, even though I'm linking to this website, I can't really vouch for them as an authority. So therefore, Google won't pass any of that site's authority onto your website. And this is why pretty much all major social media platforms and huge authority websites where people can create links automatically put rel equals nofollow on them. They don't want people spamming their platforms trying to draw off authority to get their sites ranked higher. So what are some of the things that you need to look out for? Well, link building can be a slippery slope. You can get caught up with producing unnatural links and trying to build up your backlink profile. And these unnatural links are things like paid text links, private blog networks, even guest blogging. Because with guest blogging, there's an incentive. The reason why you are writing a blog for a particular website is so that you can link back in the bio description to your website. A good rule of thumb to go by is that if you have control over the placement of the link, meaning if it's a guest post, you know that it's going to go onto somebody's website and you have control over what the link is going to say to your website, then it's best to stick a rel equals nofollow onto it. This way, if Google is looking at your backlink profile, they're seeing that you might be doing a lot of guest posting but all of your links that are pointing from those websites to your website has a rel equals nofollow on it and therefore you are not trying to do anything spammy or against their rules. Because at the end of the day, the purpose of the link is to draw people to your website and not trying to do it for some Google spider. So the best strategy that you can take in terms of getting backlinks and doing link building is focus on your marketing. Create content that engages with your audience and they will naturally share you on social media, comment and link from their blog to your website, helping your backlink profile grow organically. Your authority will build over time and then as that authority builds, your rankings will eventually come. So patience is key here. Remember that the tortoise is the one that wins the race. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. It will give me an opportunity to help others. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click the subscribe button. If you have any questions about problems and issues that you're having with marketing your business, leave them below in the comments section, and I would love to help you out. I thank you for taking your time to watch this, and I will see you in the next video.